continuous glucose monitors or the people who are obsessed with looking at their blood glucose markers a very important thing to understand is whether it's a high glycemic food or a low glycemic food especially when we're talking about carbohydrates and that's what people want to understand the insulin spikes or the the elevation of blood glucose when you eat certain foods and people are assuming that once you are on a CGM that's continuous glucose monitor and you observe that certain foods if they don't spike your blood glucose it's okay to eat them well let me burst the bubble over here when we talk about glycemic index of carbohydrates whether it is high glycemic index whether it is moderate or it is low glycemic index at the end of the day it is moderate or it is low glycemic index at the end of the day all these types all different carbohydrates whether it is high low or mid glycemic index everything is going to turn into blood glucose so whenever whether it turns into blood glucose instantly maybe after 2 hours or maybe after 6 hours it is going to turn into blood glucose in fact an extremely high protein diet will also raise your blood glucose so for someone whose blood glucose uh, after eating a pastry is not rising compared to eating a chapati or rice which is giving more blood glucose the person might assume that eating a pastry is a better idea than eating a roti or rice well nothing changes for the body because everything ultimately changes for the body because everything ultimately converts to blood glucose which ultimately will spike your insulin and increase chronically your insulin toxicity so anyone on CGM trying to understand what to eat what not to eat listen to me and mark this thing in your mind that all carbohydrates ultimately turn to blood glucose and it really doesn't matter which type of carbohydrate you eat even fruits they are going to ultimately make your liver fatty make you more insulin resistant and make you uh, experience elevated blood glucose indirectly directly because as you are insulin resistant you will be also not able to break down the elevated blood glucose through the complex carbs or simple carbs like sugar so be careful uh, whenever you follow any data from the CGM or any other uh, continuous glucose monitor that interpreting the data is very important understanding how to interpret the data is very important don't interpret it in the wrong way and continue to eat in the crap that is mostly coming from carbohydrates this is your health coach rahul cheers to the CGM knowledge that everyone is getting but be careful